Good morning, everyone. Can someone tell me whether my voice is clear and is this screen clearly visible to all of you? Okay. So, welcome to today's session. Okay, so today we will see all the news related to September. Sorry, 17th January 24. Okay. And just like everything, we'll compl you know, complete all the related news that is relevant for RBI examination. So let's start with the first news. The first news is about the government imposing 50% export duty on molasses. Okay. Molasses is nothing but a byproduct of sugar. Okay. It's like sugar syrup. The government has imposed 50% export duty on these products. So we, you know, a lot of times in, in the previous sessions also, we've discussed about the import duty and a lot of different, different type of import duty, such as countervailing duty, anti, you know, dumping duty. But this export duty is one such thing that is different from import duty. Export duty is imposed on domestic producers producing molasses okay to restrict them or to you know disincentivize them to export these products outside and what could be the probable reason because of which government does not want these products to get exported outside what do you think everyone why do you think the government doesn't want? Yes, supply shortage. Okay, the government doesn't want supply shortage in domestic economy because supply shortages leads to what? Price rise or what we say? inflation so this is what we call supply induced inflation okay so that's why the government imposes a lot of different different type of export duty that means if your product is let's say in terms of international you know if we talk about international currency so if your product is costing at let's say one dollar so if you want to export it to us it will go to us from India, it will go at $1.5 because 50% is the export duty. 50% of your, you know, MRP will be further added into your price of the product. Then only customs, you know, authorities will allow it to go outside. So that is what export duty is for you. And when we talked about import duty, the import duty had this distinction that the products that are coming from outside they will be first you know the duty will be imposed on them some amount and then only they will enter into domestic market whereas export duty there will be some duty before they go outside is this clear to everyone the distinction between export and import duty chalo so, let's see the news once again. The government imposes 50% export duty on molasses. Okay, the export duty at the rate of 50% imposed on molasses, it will be coming into effect from January 18th, as the finance ministry says. And why? Because the government wants to, you know, completes its target of ethanol blending. So, with respect, ethanol blending in fuel, For example, if you know this blended fuel, if we are talking about, so this fuel will be containing, let's say, eighty percent of the gasoline or petrol and twenty percent, or whatever the target is of ethanol. So some kind of a mixed fuel. Okay. This is just to make the fuel or the 
fossil fuels a little bit reduced and the target for the ethanol you know supply year 22-23 is of 12 percent okay and in the next year 23-24 the target is of 15 percent that means ethanol supply year which starts from November and ends on just like calendar year, financial year, similarly is this ethanol supply year. So, ethanol supply year will start from 1st November and it will end on 31st October. Okay. So, in this case scenario, if we are talking about 23, 24, the government has set a target of 15% ethanol blending in petrol. So, ethanol, to, for in order to do this, they need to have this much amount of ethanol. So, molasses is one of the raw material to produce ethanol. So, if molasses are not available in domestic economy, if there is supply shortages, so government will also be short of its 15% target of ethanol blending in 23-24. And it is not financial year, neither it is this calendar year, it is ethanol supply year, which starts from 1st November and it ends on 31st October. Okay. So, these are the things that you need to remember, not only export duty, how much export duty, okay, on what product it is being levied upon, for what purposes, what is the target that government wants to achieve, why exactly the government is doing so. It is only when you understand all the, you know, important aspects in the news, then only you will be able to better remember those things. Okay? So, in order to produce ethanol, as you can see, sugarcane juice account for 25% and B heavy molasses accounts for 45% of sugar, ethanol production. So, you can understand how much critical this molasses is for ethanol production and thereby it is crucial for achieving the target of 15% ethanol blending. Okay, so let's move on to the next news. The finance ministry imposes anti-dumping duty on metaphenylene diamine from China. So, anti-dumping duty we've already discussed in case, you know, in one of the previous sessions. So, for those of you who've already attended that session, can somebody tell me why anti-dumping duty is usually applied? What could be the probable reason? Give me one line answer, if you could. to safeguard domestic manufacturer. So, that, that's a consequence of it. But what could be the primary reason? Why anti-dumping duty we are applying? Why not count, countervailing duty? Duties can be of different, different types. Why exactly we are, you know, levying anti-dumping duty? Or what could, what is the phenomena of dumping? If we talk about in case of export transactions or, ex, you know, trade, external trade. Anyone? Shall I tell you? So, think about this product which is metaphenylene diamine. So, we will call it MPD. Okay. So, let us talk, uh, you know, for the sake of simplicity, let us talk in terms of same currency. Let us say a neutral currency called dollar. Okay. Low quality products are sold at low price to prevent China from dumping its cheap products in India. Ah, so, what is dumping? 
सो लिसन अंडरस्टैंड वॉट डंपिंग इज तो सपोज चाइना मैन्युफैक्चर्स दिस एमपीडी प्रोडक्ट वन के जी एमपीडी चाइना प्रोडक्ट यू नो मैन्युफैक्चर दिस एट अ कॉस्ट ऑफ लेट से दिस हंड्रेड डॉलर ठीक है लेट्स अज्यूम दिस दट चाइना मैन्युफैक्चर दिस प्रोडक्ट वन के जी एट हंड्रेड डॉलर रुपीज ओके सो दिस इज इट्स कॉस्ट ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग दैट मीन्स इफ इट सेल्स बिलो दिस कॉस्ट ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इट विल इंकर लॉस है ना सिमिलरली इन इंडिया लेट्स से इंडिया आल्सो बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स टेक्नोलॉजी एंड अदर थिंग्स इट आल्सो प्रोड्यूसेस द सेम प्रोडक्ट एट हंड्रेड डॉलर पर के जी नाउ इमेजिन चाइना सम हाउ हैज प्रोड्यूस्ड अ लॉट ऑफ लेट्स से हंड्रेड के जी वर्थ ऑफ एमपीडी एंड इट्स डोमेस्टिक मार्केट कुड ओनली यू नो कंज्यूम अप टू सेवेंटी के जी सो थर्टी के जी इज रिमेनिंग एंड इन ऑर्डर टू नॉट वेस्ट इट ठीक है इन ऑर्डर टू नॉट वेस्ट दैट थर्टी के जी चाइना थिंग्स चलो इंडिया में बेचते हैं ठीक है बट इफ दे वॉन्ट टू सेल इन इंडिया इंडियंस आर ऑल्सो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एट हंड्रेड यू नो डॉलर पर के जी सो देयर एम पी डी विल नॉट बी कॉम्पिटेटिव सो चाइना इज डिसाइडिंग वी विल सेल इट एट फिफ्टी डॉलर पर के जी दैट मीन्स सेलिंग एट द प्राइस दैट इज बिलो कॉस्ट ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सो इट्स लाइक डंपिंग देयर प्रोडक्ट एट सम वैल्यू कुछ तो पैसा मिल जाए डंप कर देते है ना सो दिस इज वॉट द फिनोमिना ऑफ डंपिंग इज दैट वेन दू नो एक्सटर्नल वेन द फॉरन कंट्री एक्सपोर्ट द प्रोडक्ट बिलो इट्स मार्केट प्राइस और बिलो इट्स कॉस्ट ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग देन द प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड एंटी डंपिंग सो एंटी डंपिंग इज एनी वेज अ वेरी यू नो डिटीरेटिव इंपैक्ट कैन हैव डिटीरेटिव इंपैक्ट ऑन डोमेस्टिक मार्केट बिकॉज दिस डोमेस्टिक मार्केट और डोमेस्टिक मैन्युफैक्चर इन इंडिया कैन नॉट प्रोड्यूस बिलो हंड्रेड डॉलर विदाउट इनकरिंग लॉस एंड इफ दे हैव टू कंपीट विद दिस फिफ्टी डॉलर पर के जी एम पी डी सो दे बी यू नो एनी वेज दे बी एट लॉस बिकॉज नो बडी विल बाय फ्रॉम दम सो दैट्स वाई इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोटेक्ट दीज प्रोड्यूसर्स गवर्नमेंट इंपोजिस एंटी डंपिंग ड्यूटी गवर्नमेंट सेज कि आओ अंदर आओ लेकिन बेचोगे इतने में ही वी विल नॉट लेट यू यू नो इम्पैक्ट आर डोमेस्टिक प्रोड्यूसर्स any doubt to anyone chalo so this is what this anti dumping duty on mpd the finance ministry talked about and the mpd is coming from china okay so this chemical intermediate is used for manufacturing dyes engineering polymer okay and so as you can see director general of trade remedies recommends then finance ministry approves so this is the methodology of you know imposing anti dumping duty only when director general of trade remedies will recommend then only finance ministry will approve so it's a recommendatory body it's a approval body similarly how you know msp is, is also being applied ki cscp recommend karta hai ccea approve karta hai theek hai to similarly here trade remedies recommends finance ministry approves theek hai cost ka itna yaad karne ki zarurat nahi hai anyways whenever the new रेलिवेंट डेटा विल कम ओके देन वी विल सी दो महीने पहले इनकेस अगर इफ सच टाइप ऑफ न्यूज कम देन वी विल सी अदरवाइज जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट एंड अंडरस्टैंड विच ऑफ द कंट्रीज यूजली डज दिस मीरा इज आस्किंग वाई वुड अ कंट्री डंप बाई एक्सपोर्टिंग बाई फेसिंग लॉस थिंक अबाउट 
ठीक है थिंक अबाउट इंडिया एंड इंडिया हैज प्रोड्यूस्ड लेट्स से हंड्रेड के जी ऑफ राइस ठीक है डोमेस्टिक मार्केट इज कंज्यूमिंग सेवेंटी के जी दैट मीन्स थर्टी के जी रिमेनिंग एंड द प्राइस ऑफ राइस इज टेन डॉलर पर के जी अब एक बात बताओ ठीक है डोमेस्टिक कंजम्पन तो हो नहीं रहा सो यू कैन नॉट सेंड इट टू डोमेस्टिक मार्केट देन वॉट इफ देर आर नो एक्सटर्नल मार्केट देन वॉट ऑप्शन डू यू हैव यू कैन ईदर यू नो वेस्ट इट और लेट इट वेस्ट और सेंड इट समेयर ठीक है and when i'm saying domestic consumption i'm including storage and other uh, you know buying that this fci always does theek hai domestic se ho gaya bas ab itna bacha hua hai isko ya to waste kar do like every year almost 40% of india's crop production get wasted so there is one that one of the option that you will get 0 rupees from this by wasting this whole lot or you can send it to another country like uae but uae also sell its rice at 10 dollar per kg so you will be like ki yaar 0 rupees se better hai main isko 50 mein bech deta hu aur 5 rupaye 5 dollar per kg bech deta hu theek hai at least i'll get something so this is the reason usually companies dump ठीक है क्योंकि अगर घर पर रहेगा तो वेस्ट तो वो नहीं है इट्स बेटर टू गेट समथिंग राधर देन नथिंग अंडरस्टूड यस करेक्ट चलो नेक्स्ट एसबीआई लॉन्चेस निफ्टी फिफ्टी इक्वल वेटेज इंडेक्स न्यू फंड ऑफर ठीक है so this is sbi mutual fund that has launched this nifty 50 equal weightage index fund theek hai and there are two aspects into it first of all there is this this index fund and there is this nfo which is new fund offer so new fund offer it's nothing like it is equivalent to ipo for stocks new fund offer for mutual funds So what is IPO for stocks? IPO is, you know, initial listing of any particular stock on the stock market. Similarly, whenever a new mutual fund house start a new fund, they open it for initial subscription. Whenever they releases, and obviously, a lot of, you know, investors want to invest initially in this new fund offer, and then. ठीक है, so it, it will be starting at some point and then it will grow. तो so it's तो so जो initial subscription है, that is what new fund offer is. Initial release of new fund. So SBI mutual fund has released this new index fund, Nifty 50 equal weight index. तो so what is this fund? तो so index fund I hope everybody knows. तो so index funds are like, okay, so this is Nifty 50. that means 50 top companies on national stock exchange theek hai so nifty 50 is a market index theek hai which contains or which contains the value of 50 top companies that are listed on national stock exchange theek hai of 50 top companies mein and top companies are all all you know on on the basis of market cap and market cap is what number of shares that are listed on the market into its price so for example total market mein total hdfc ke stock agar 100 hai and right now its price is 1400 okay so it will be 1.4 lakh market cap so this is nifty 50 index 
तो जितना भी प्राइस इन टॉप फिफ्टी कंपनीज का बढ़ रहा है या घट रहा है उसके बेसिस पे निफ्टी फिफ्टी का इंडेक्स चलेगा ठीक है एंड वॉट इज इंडेक्स फंड इंडेक्स फंड आर यूजली मूविंग इन पैरल विद यू नो बेंच मार्क इंडेक्स तो जो एस बी आई ने म्यूचुअल फंड निकाला है दैट विल रेप्लीकेट द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ निफ्टी फिफ्टी इंडेक्स फंड तो वेन एवर निफ्टी फिफ्टी विल मूव इन द सिमिलर फैशन दिस एस बी आई म्यूचुअल फंड इंडेक्स फंड विल मूव ठीक है तो इट विल रेप्लीकेट दैट निफ्टी फिफ्टी इंडेक्स एंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्रूशल पार्ट हेयर इज दिस ई डब्ल्यू विच इज इक्वल वेटेज Now, if I ask you, in those in those top fifty companies, does all of have does all companies have same market cap? Anyone? Every company have different market cap. Some have eleven lakh crore, for example, HDFC. Some have five to six lakh crores. For example, ICICI, है ना? Every company have different market cap. So you can imagine every company must be having some different kind of weightage in the Nifty 50 index. But ये क्या है? Equal weightage. That means whatever fund, let's say 100 crores is coming into this Nifty 50 equal weightage fund of SBI. it will be equally distributed on all 50 companies equally that means every company will be getting what 2 crores that means this fund house will do what it will buy you know every company in a similar fashion ye nahi ki hdfc ka market cap bada hai to usko zyada khareed lete hain ya koi zyada sasta hai to usko no not like that every company will be given an equal weightage okay and on the basis of that this fund will move theek hai to simple sa formula ye nifty 50 equal weight index hai aur ye fund house ka manager kuch nahi karega usko bas connect kar dega ki jaise jaise wo nifty 50 index move karega usi hisab se aapka paisa bhi move karega so that is also what we call passive offering that means the manager is not actively buying stocks or actively selling stocks एक बार इसके जैसा स्टॉक खरीद लिया बस छोड़ दिया एंड दैट्स व्हाई व्हेन मैनेजर्स डू नॉट डू एनी काइंड ऑफ एक्टिव ट्रेडिंग इन योर म्यूचुअल फंड देन द कॉम्पनसेशन और व्हाट यू से एक्सपेंस रेशियो दैट मींस द कमीशन दैट यू हैव टू गिव टू द फंड हाउस फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग यू प्रॉफिट दैट इज मिनिमल ठीक है अब वो कुछ कर ही नहीं रहा तो फिर कमीशन लेने की क्या बात है That's the thing, ठीक है चलो नेक्स्ट विंडफॉल टैक्स ऑन डोमेस्टिक क्रूड ऑयल कट टू कट टू वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड पर टन ओके so the union ministry of finance has lowered the windfall tax on the sale of locally produced oil to 1700 per ton okay so previously it was 2300 per ton and that is also not old news we also discussed windfall tax in one of the sessions in the previous classes okay so all of those who were there in the class tell me what exactly is windfall tax everyone we understood this thoroughly i remember i have explained this to you a lot of times for all the newcomers i will again explain but all those who were there in my class please tell me what were what is the meaning of this windfall tax imposed on specific industries theek hai for what purposes
टैक्स ऑन लार्ज प्रॉफिट करेक्ट एंड वेर डू यू थिंक दीज लार्ज प्रॉफिट स्कीम अचानक से इतने प्रॉफिट कैसे आ गए हायर टैक्स डिवाइड बाई गवर्नमेंट ऑन स्पेसिफिक इंडस्ट्रीज वेन दे एक्सपीरियंस अनएक्सपेक्टेड एंड अब एवरेज प्रॉफिट ठीक है ठीक है इट इज क्लियर ओके कि विंडफॉल टैक्स इज लिवीड ऑन स्पेसिफिक इंडस्ट्रीज यू नो जनरेटेड वेरी लार्ज और अनएक्सपेक्टेड प्रॉफिट एंड वॉट कुड बी द मेन रीजन फॉर दीज अनएक्सपेक्टेड प्रॉफिट इज इट देयर परफॉर्मेंस नहीं इट्स नॉट ड्यू टू अनफेयर प्रैक्टिस ना ना अनफेयर प्रैक्टिस करोगे तो आप जेल जाओगे टैक्स नहीं लगेगा आप इट इज ड्यू टू एक्सटर्नल इवेंट्स एक्सटर्नल इवेंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल कोविड रशिया यूक्रेन कॉन्फ्लिक्ट यू नो इसराइल हमास कॉन्फ्लिक्ट दीज थिंग्स इंक्रीज क्रूड ऑयल प्राइसिस इन द मार्केट एंड वेन एवर द इन ड्यू टू हाई इंक्रीज क्रूड ऑयल प्राइसिस एंड वेन एवर दीज थिंग्स गेट सोल्ड इन द इंटरनेशनल मार्केट दीज कंपनीज जनरेट ह्यूज प्रॉफिट ठीक है सो बिकॉज ऑफ एन एक्सटर्नल इवेंट एंड नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ देयर ऑपरेटिंग एफिशियंसी और अनदर लाइक थिंग बिकॉज ऑफ दीज एक्सटर्नल इवेंट्स सप्लाई चेन डिसरप्शन बिकॉज ऑफ हाई क्रूड ऑयल प्राइस इफ दीज कंपनीज जनरेट अनएक्सपेक्टेड प्रॉफिट द विंडफॉल टैक्स इज यूजली अप्लाइड एट द एंड है तो इनकम ही ना तो इनकम टैक्स तो गवर्नमेंट का राइट है एंड बिकॉज द प्रॉफिट इज वेरी ह्यूज एंड इट इज कंटिन्यूसली चेंजिंग दैट्स वाई विंडफॉल टैक्स यू नो notification keeps on changing in the week only in the two weeks before we've just read about this windfall tax news where the government levied 2300 and just now after two weeks it has reduced to 1900 and it will continue to change but you can imagine that how frequently the profits of the oil companies continuously change on account of external events and not their operating efficiency understood everyone next news edible oil imports at lower duty extended till march 25 okay so the government has decided to continue importing edible oil such as refined palm soya bean and sunflower oil at a reduced duty for another year until march 25 so basically government is saying india usually import edible oil from which countries does anybody know what are the most prominent countries from which we import edible oil palm oil and soybean oil any one country does anyone know yes southeast asian countries correct so for example indonesia Malaysia, ठीक है एंड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट रिड्यूस्ड इम्पोर्ट ड्यूटी दैट मीन्स द प्रोडक्ट कमिंग इन टू इंडिया दिस ड्यूटी दैट इज इम्पोज फॉर एंटरिंग इंडिया ओके दैट ड्यूटी हैज बीन लोवर डाउन एंड वेन एवर दिस ड्यूटी हैज बीन लोवर डाउन इट इज अ साइन ऑफ वॉट दैट गवर्नमेंट वॉन्ट्स टू इंक्रीज इट्स इम्पोर्ट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द प्रोडक्ट कमिंग फ्रॉम दीज कंट्रीज and specifically not these countries or maybe it's due to the product only as all of you know that how much consumption of edible oil is being done in our country theek okay? hai in every type of food theek okay? hai this edible oil is consumed so if this edible oil is not present in the domestic economy it will lead to what if there is supply shortage it will lead to inflation and as all of you know that just now we have come from a inflationary condition economy theek hai jaise taise to inflation abhi theek hua hai somehow the inflation right now is within the inflation target which is 
इन्फ्लेशन टारगेट इज वॉट एवरी वन टू टू सिक्स परसेंट ये करेक्ट ठीक है तो जैसे तैसे तो इन्फ्लेशन हैज अराइव इन दिस समहाउर सम वर्ड नियर टू फाइव पॉइंट सेवन और फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट सो इफ वी अगेन इफ वी इफ वी डू नॉट कंटिन्यू दिस इम्पोर्ट एट लोअर ड्यूटी एंड सिंस आर डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्टिव केपेबिलिटीज आर नॉट दैट मच हाई विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एडिबल ऑयल वी विल बी अगेन bringing back the inflation and as a whole economy we cannot afford to do that okay because as all of you know food inflation is one of the most volatile inflation okay and that always hurt the below poverty line people okay so that's why government says this lower duty import of edible oil will continue up to march 2025 so please remember this this is an important news and it's a extended news we are talking about so this march 2025 date of lower import duty of edible oil is very important so please remember next hdfc bank offload entire stake in bandhan bank So basically, HDFC Bank was 4.31 percent shareholder of Bandhan Bank, and right now HDFC Bank has sold its old whole stake in the market and have gotten the money. And right now HDFC Bank has no shareholding with respect to Bandhan Bank. The context is that this is that HDFC Bank have recently you know merged with HDFC Limited, and HDFC Limited has come up with a lot of liabilities so hdfc bank in the previous news you must have also seen that hdfc bank have recently you know raised 500 million dollar rupees from outside you can see this phenomena also that it has also really you know sold all its stake in the bandhan bank so what exactly hdfc bank is doing hdfc bank is trying to gather money from everywhere possible okay so that it can pay for its liabilities काउंटर वेलिंग ड्यूटी यार कुछ नहीं है काउंटर वेलिंग ड्यूटी सो थिंक लाइक इंडिया यूएसए सो वाइल प्रोड्यूसिंग लेट्स ए टेक यू एज एन एग्जांपल दैट विल बी लॉट मोर अप्रोप्रिएट so while producing rice all of you tell me what are the various support does government provide to rice farmers in with respect to production of rice everyone tell me with respect to production of rice what are the various support provided by the government to rice farmers in india सब्सिडी ऑन इक्विपमेंट फर्टिलाइजर्स ठीक है सबसे तो लेट्स से फर्टिलाइजर सब्सिडी वन डॉलर रुपीज अरे सब्सिडी आगे लिखो ना किस चीज की सब्सिडी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सब्सिडी वन डॉलर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सब्सिडी चलो एनीथिंग एल्स स्टोरेज के लिए भी चलो वन डॉलर सब्सिडी ठीक है एंड वन डॉलर इफ यू टेक इन टू कंसिडरेशन द इरिगेशन फेसिलिटीज प्रोवाइडेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट तो नेट सपोर्ट फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट कम्स आउट टू बी फोर डॉलर है ना एंड द प्राइस एट विच दिस राइस इज बीइंग सोल्ड एट द इंटरनेशनल मार्केट इज टेन डॉलर ठीक है so whenever this 10 dollar is 10 dollar rice is being exported to uae the uae government will say are tum log to government ke support se itna sasta bana pa rahe ho otherwise this rice in actual would have you know 
कॉस्टेड यू फोर्टीन डॉलर रुपीज बट बिकॉज ऑफ गवर्नमेंट सपोर्ट द प्राइस एट विच यू गाइज आर सेलिंग इज एट टेन डॉलर तो इट विल बी अनफेयर फॉर द यू ए गवर्नमेंट और यू ए कंज्यूमर्स और यू ए प्रोड्यूसर्स ऑफ राइस टू इन टेक दिस टेन डॉलर राइस तो वट दिस यू ए गवर्नमेंट विल डू दे विल पुट अ ड्यूटी इक्वेलेंट टू द गवर्नमेंट सपोर्ट प्रोवाइडेड टू दिस राइस तो चार डॉलर लगा दिए यहां पर आप जब एंट्री करेगा सो इट विल बी फोर्टीन डॉलर तो दिस इज वॉट काउंटर विलिंग ड्यूटी इज वट एवर सपोर्ट दैट इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई द गवर्नमेंट टू द राइस मैन्युफैक्चर इन टर्म्स ऑफ सब्सिडी इन टर्म्स ऑफ एनी अदर थिंग ठीक है टू काउंटर दैट सपोर्ट द काउंटर विलिंग ड्यूटी इज अप्लाइड समझ गया एनी कंफ्यूजन चलो So let's move on to the next. That Fitch ratings have provided triple B minus investment grade rating to India. Okay, so that is a good news because it is a investment grade. That means it is a high grade rating provided by Fitch ratings to India, and it is supported by India's medium term GDP forecast. and solid financing positioning india as one of the fastest growing nations globally in the coming years and what do you think what could be the benefit of this triple b minus rating everyone what could be the probable benefits yes it will attract a lot of fi एफ डी आई तो चलो है ही लेकिन सबसे ज्यादा एफ पी आई और एफ आई आई इन्वेस्टमेंट वेलकम एंड इट विल कंटिन्यू टू स्टे दैट इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इट शुड नॉट बी लाइक की एफ आई आई आए और एफ आई आई दो दिन बाद पैसा कमा के चले गए ठीक है दैट विल इम्पैक्ट और दैट विल मेक आर मार्केट अलॉट मोर वॉलेटाइल चलो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू दूसर न्यूज सो किडनी एंड लिवर are the most pledged organs for donation so this is the data released by national organ and tissue transplant organization noto theek hai it tells you that kidney and liver and heart these are the top 3 organs usually pledged by donors who are you know voluntary donors and apart from that in context of tissue cornea is the most pledged tissue rajasthan tops the list of states in number of registration or you know registered organ donors then maharashtra and then mp theek okay? hai so this is all data related to organ donation to basic data yaad kar lena isme ki what are the top 3 important organs that are being donated with respect to organ and with respect to tissue and number of states that are at the top with respect to donation chalo let's move on to the next so prime minister open a new campus of national academy of custom indirect taxes and narcotics at palas samudram in shri satya sai district of andhra pradesh so just remember this detail nothing to explain in this next is home ministry cancel fcra registration of center for policy research so those of you who are to must be remembering the center for policy research it used to be you know generating a lot of policy documents for you know on different topics it is in delhi only so what home ministry has done it has cancelled its fcra registration that means center for policy research will not be able to take foreign contribution or foreign donations for a while until unless this registration is again renewed 
इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फॉर्म एल एन टी बैग ऑर्डर फॉर द बुलेट ट्रेन प्रोजेक्ट ओके सो ऑब्वियसली नॉट फॉर द होल प्रोजेक्ट इट इज फॉर द इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन सिस्टम फॉर द होल बुलेट ट्रेन प्रोजेक्ट तो विद रिस्पेक्ट टू इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन एज यू कैन सी इट्स अ वेरी ह्यूज ऑर्डर समवेयर इन बिटवीन टेन थाउजेंड टू फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड क्रोड द एल एन टी एज बैग नेक्स्ट सोलर पावर बोट टू फ्लोट ऑन सरयो रिवर इन अयोध्या ओके तो दिस यूपी न्यू एंड रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी एजेंसी विल मेक श्योर अ सोलर पावर्ड बोट विल बी अवेलेबल इन फॉर सर्विस ऑन सरयो रिवर इन अयोध्या नेक्स्ट इज दिस सेंट्रल लैब नेशनल टेस्ट हाउस ओके दिस नेशनल टेस्ट हाउस will check the or will check or will make sure that ev batteries a lot of cases with respect to you know burning of these ev batteries are coming and this national test house will make sure that these ev batteries are safe whenever they are getting deployed in the national market so there is also one more thing so can you tell me this national test house because this is a central government lab under which ministry this national test house is anyone what do you think under which ministry this is it is under ministry of consumers ministry of consumer affairs food and public distribution okay remember this next world economic forum to set up fourth industrial revolution center in hyderabad okay so this fourth industrial revolution network center it will allow different stakeholders for example government businesses ngos individuals okay students to come and discuss the possibilities of what fourth industrial revolution will going to do in the upcoming economy next a pacific nation nauru cuts relation with taiwan such as to china so there is this policy that obviously taiwan says that i am the real china china says i am the real china okay and whoever have relations with china they follow this one china policy that means they do not consider taiwan as a independent country but they considered taiwan as a in in alienable part of china only okay so nauru which recognized taiwan previously as a separate country but now has you know strengthened its relation with china and has adopted this one china policy so if nauru has to adopt this one china policy they have to cut relations with china oh sorry taiwan okay next so this WHO WHO has granted an emergency use listing to biological ease covid vaccine named corbevax theek hai so this is india's first indigenously developed covid vaccine based on protein subunit platform theek hai so what is this so protein subunit platform it's like within the virus we are extracting protein and injecting it into the you know person and generating immune response then this is the normal functioning of every type of vaccine then what is the difference in this protein one the main specialization of this protein or manufacturing this protein subunit platform vaccine is that it will help especially those people who have weak immunity ठीक है अब उन अब फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू थिंक ऑफ एनी टाइप ऑफ वैक्सीन इन विच द वायरस इज देयर इन इनएक्टिवेटेड फॉर्म अब इनएक्टिवेटेड फॉर्म वाला वायरस इनको दे देंगे तो ये बीमार पड़ जाएंगे सो वी अडॉप्ट दिस प्रोटीन सब यूनिट प्लेटफॉर्म जहां पे एटलीस्ट वीक इम्यूनिटी पीपल विल ऑल्सो जनरेट इम्यूनिटी अगेंस्ट कोविड नाइनटीन ठीक है सो रिमेंबर दिस बायोलॉजिकल ई कंपनी दिस कोरबे and this 
प्रोटीन सब यूनिट प्लेटफॉर्म नेक्स्ट कर्नाटका बैंक क्लिक्स कैपिटल टू एंटर इन टू को लेंडिंग पार्टनरशिप एंड इट्स अ डिजिटल को लेंडिंग पार्टनरशिप स्पेसिफिकली फॉर द लोन्स टू एमएसएमई सेक्टर ठीक है तो इट्स जस्ट अ पार्टनरशिप यू कैन रिमेंबर दीज थ्री डिटेल्स देन वी हैव वोड ऑफ ऑन साइनिंग वन पॉइंट फाइव बिलियन डॉलर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डील फॉर ए आई क्लाउड आईओटी इनका स्टॉक तो बड़ा यू नो स्टॉक Although balance sheet is not good, but they are doing 1.5 billion dollar Microsoft deal. चलो बढ़िया, it will benefit Vodafone to come out of almost bankruptcy. So Vodafone has agreed a 10 year partnership with Microsoft to bring generative AI digital enterprise. Okay, so whatever AI facilities that Microsoft will offer, those all AI facilities will be incorporated into. Vodafone services, so that whenever Vodafone will provide you services with respect to various aspects, for example, data, you know, or even various services also, so that will be AI developed also. Okay. Next, Synopsys company will buy engineering software firm Ansys in a thirty-five billion dollar deal. So, how many of you know about Ansys? Has any one of you worked on it? So, for all the mechanical engineers, these Ansys software was utilized for not only you know building 3D models, but Ansys also allowed them to test these 3D models. Testing, for example, let's say aeroplane made. ठीक है अब आपको चेक कर रहे हैं कि एरोप्लेन एट थर्टी थाउजेंड फीट विल एक्सपीरियंस व्हाट टाइप ऑफ फोर्सेस तो यू कुड जस्ट यू नो पुट योर मॉडल इनटू टू सॉफ्टवेयर एंड दिस एंसिस सॉफ्टवेयर विल डू द टेस्टिंग ऑफ इट है ना सो दिस इज व्हाट एंड दिस वाज अ वेरी ह्यूज कंपनी एंसिस सो दैट्स वाई यू कैन सी दिस यू नो ट्रेड और दिस buying is of 35 billion dollars deal so synopsis is getting ansys in 35 billion dollars deal next inox air products sign 3 billion dollar mou with maharashtra for green ammonia plant okay so what is green ammonia so just like green hydrogen we talk about so similarly green ammonia is like ammonia you know building of ammonia via carbon neutral manufacturing process just like how we talked about green hydrogen theek hai to water ko use karke uske components tod ke electrolysis karke we will develop this ammonia and that can be utilized into different different aspects that's why it is called green ammonia so this inox air products is saying that we are have signed a mou That means एक understanding reach हो गई है. Obviously there is no concrete agreement, but at least an understanding of developing a 500,000 million tons per annum capacity of green ammonia plant worth 3 billion US dollars will be developed in Maharashtra by Inox Air Products. ठीक है? So this plant will also produce liquid ammonia, which would be a climate neutral hydrogen carrier. So what do we mean by this? So liquid ammonia, ammonia's formula, as all of you know, what is ammonia's formula? How much hydrogen is there in ammonia? NH three, है ना? So as you can see, in ammonia we could store three units of hydrogen. But if you try to compress hydrogen, hydrogen gas. first of all there is only two units of hydrogen and then you know compressing hydrogen will take a lot of space and if you try to send hydrogen via pipelines that is also not sustainable so hydrogen ke transportation ke liye badi dikkat hai but if we try to liquefy ammonia then we can 
not only store ammonia but also transport this much amount of hydrogen to different different places and then in another place we can obviously break this ammonia and find you know get free hydrogen components that why we are saying that it is also a climate neutral hydrogen carrier so it will be a you know beneficial aspect in context of green hydrogen if we will talk about next tcs to train entire staff with generative ai skills so that is a very evident thing the shock is that it came only after one year when the chat gpt was launched so because it's a consulting you know firm that provides it solutions to all over the world then i also told you that with respect to ai also a lot of companies will be providing ai induced solutions that means you know making sure that ai gets into different different companies inbuilt systems and only when the whole staff of tcs can get skilled in generative ai then only they can provide various solutions to different different clients that they are catering to okay so this is what the news is then we have this acme company which aims to raise 300 million equity in push for green hydrogen okay so it's a gurugram based company that is trying to raise 300 million dollar rupees to establish a plant for green hydrogen okay and obviously it is setting up its green hydrogen plant under this incentive scheme which is strategic intervention for green hydrogen transition in which various type of subsidies are provided okay so what will be the capacity 90000 ton per annum will be the capacity of the plant and the company would get an incentive of 30 per kg on average for 3 years that means whatever amount of you know this green hydrogen these guys will produce they will receive 30 rupees for every kg that they will produce for upcoming 3 years that means incentivizing them for green hydrogen production next award news two indians among schwab foundation awardees so ajayta shah of social commerce platform frontier markets and suchin bajaj of hospital chain ujala signus hospitals they both have won social innovation awards in davos okay the so world economic forum ke regarding awards that means they are important these institutions are important so please make sure to remember them next india ranks second in time spent on shopping applications so indian shoppers accounted for 13% of total hours spent by mobile users across globe on their shopping applications next only to china in this regard okay so this is from the state of mobile 2024 report so make sure you remember china as the top then india next to all the football enthusiasts fifa the best awards okay as won by lionel messi in the men category and aitana bonmati in the women category she belongs to spain and she plays for barcelona Messi who used to play for Barcelona now is playing for Inter Miami in US okay and obviously because Messi won the world cup last year he won the best awards next Tamil Nadu Kerala Karnataka Gujarat top in startup ranking so this startup ranking is the first of all its national ranking states startup ranking for 2022 released by dp iit okay which ministry everyone ministry of commerce and industry okay so ministry of commerce and industry released this state's startup ranking for 22 so in this ranking tamil nadu kerala karnataka gujarat were among the top in startup ranking so as you can see in this ranking exercise there were five performance categories best performers top performers leaders 
एस्पायरिंग लीडर्स एंड इमर्जिंग स्टार्टअप इको सिस्टम ठीक है मतलब जो एकदम खराब भी कर रहे हैं उनको भी नाम अच्छा दिया है इमर्जिंग स्टार्टअप इको सिस्टम पॉसिबिलिटी है ठीक है एंड देन वी हैव दिस सेवन रिफॉर्म एरियाज विच इज इंस्टीट्यूशनल सपोर्ट फॉस्टरिंग इनोवेशन एक्सेस टू मार्केट इनक्यूबेशन फंडिंग सपोर्ट कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग एंड रोड मैप टू सस्टेनेबल फ्यूचर तो एज यू कैन सी द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग फॉर यू इज टू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस रिपोर्ट इज वेरी हाईली क्रिटिकल एंड इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द आरबीआई एग्जामिनेशन ठीक है तो रिमेंबर द नॉट ओनली द रैंकिंग ऑल्सो रिमेंबर द वॉट इज द क्राइटेरिया वॉट इज द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ परफॉर्मेंसेज एंड वॉट आर द वेरियस रिफॉर्म एरियाज बट हाउ मेनी एक्शन पॉइंट ऑफ दर ठीक है तो एज यू कैन सी द बेस्ट परफॉर्मर स्टेट्स गुजरात कर्नाटका केरला तमिलनाडु टॉप परफॉर्मर महाराष्ट्र लीडर एस्पायरिंग लीडर एंड इमर्जिंग इको सिस्टम फॉर एग्जाम्पल छत्तीसगढ़ डेली एंड जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड देन द रैंकिंग आर ऑब्वियसली ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ स्टेट कैटेगरी ए पॉपुलेशन मोर देन वन सी आर कैटेगरी बी पॉपुलेशन लेस देन वन सी आर एंड सेम फाइव कैटेगरी ठीक है तो इसको एक बार देख लेना नेक्स्ट आरबीआई अप्रूव प्रवीण एक कुट्टी एज डीसीबी बैंक एमडी एंड सीईओ विद जस्ट अ वन लाइन ऑन न्यूज ओके सो ही हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड फॉर थ्री इयर्स इफेक्टिव फ्रॉम अप्रैल ट्वेंटी नाइन ट्वेंटी फोर एंड लास्ट न्यूज सुमित नागल एंड थर्टी फोर ईयर वेट एंड फॉर वॉट फॉर टेनिस सो टेनिस प्लेयर सुमित नागल बिकेम द फर्स्ट इंडियन सिंस Ramesh Krishnan in 1919 1989 to beat a seeded player in the singles main draw of a grand slam theek okay? hai sumit nagal defeated alexander bublik in his first round of australian open in melbourne okay so this is all for today with this anything else you want to ask please ask otherwise we'll wind up the session um. हाँ बीपी भी करते हैं बट फॉर दो बैंक ऑन विच दिस प्रॉम्प्ट करेक्टिव एक्शन फ्रेमवर्क इज बींग अप्लाइड ऑन ठीक है तो उसका कंट्रोल पूरा आरबीआई ले लेता है बिकॉज आरबीआई टू इंश्योर दैट दिस बैंक डजेंट डिफॉल्ट anything else theek hai we'll make sure it gets uploaded just now only theek hai chalo thank you guys for joining we'll meet in the next session till then keep revising your content theek hai chalo bye Mm-hmm.